Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, under arrest. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Place him under arrest. Am I under arrest? Am I? Take your hands off me if I'm not under arrest. Am I under arrest? I'm telling you to take your hands off me. Is he take under your arrest? hands off me. Oh. I'm telling you to take. people in this court and the people in the legislature has, have not been acting like human beings. They've put trumped up charges of conspiracy and felonies on everyone who went in to exercise a constitutional right and said they had no right to bear arms in a public place. The uh, California Penal Code section 1220 through 12027 and also the Second Amendment of the Constitution guarantees the citizen a right to bear arms on public property. And the legislature, uh, I talked to Marford last night, and he said the legislature has made certain rules that are superior to the United States Constitution and also superior to the, uh, the statutory law of California, and that is that they made a rule that uh, no one could walk on their property with a weapon. I'm saying this is a bold uh, contradiction, and also Marford is alive. And the big stick. Black people have begged, prayed, petitioned for it. And what are you doing removing people's property without you? Now, if I'm under arrest, wait, wait, if wait. I'm under arrest, I'll come. If I'm wait, not, wait, don't wait, put wait. your hands on me. Is this the way the racist government works? Don't let a man uh, exercise his, his, his constitutional rights? If my sweater's ripped, you will get... i like to make a statement now with this respect. Statement of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense on the Mulford Act now pending before the California legislature. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls upon the American people in general and the black people in particular to take full note of the racist California legislature, which is now considering legislation aimed at keeping the black people disarmed and powerless at the very same time that racist police agencies throughout the country are intensifying the terror, brutality, murder, and repression of black people at the same time that the American government is waging a racist war of genocide in Vietnam, the concentration camps in which Japanese Americans were interned during World War II are being re innovated and expanded. Since America has historically reserved the most barbaric treatment for non-white people, we are forced to conclude that these concentration camps are being prepared for black people who are determined to gain their freedom by any means necessary. The enslavement of black people from the very beginning of this country, the genocide practice on the American Indians and the confining of the survivors on reservations, the savage lynching of thousands of black men and women, the dropping of atomic bombs on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and now the cowardly massacre in Vietnam. All the power structure of America has been
Well, I think it's a ridiculous way to try and solve the problems that have to be solved among people of goodwill, and there's certainly nothing that can be done in the line of goodwill when Americans have guns uh, uh, with the, even the implied idea that those guns might be directed against other Americans. But I would think that some of the bills that have been suggested, such as not carrying a loaded weapon uh, on a city street or in town, uh, this might uh, certainly be a good one. There is absolutely no reason why out on the street today a uh, civilian should be carrying a loaded weapon. I just thought they uh, needed service, you know, gas, have their windows clean and such, but uh, then they started getting out with their guns and uh, had me a little bit puzzled. I didn't want to approach them. So one of them walked up to me and asked if he can have two hours worth of gas in his Pontiac over here. So uh, I went ahead and put the gas in and I noticed the guns were loaded and uh, they were just standing around. They didn't say anything. They just started, you know, tending to their windows and checking the oil. Then I looked across the street and I saw one of the uh, city police coming across with his motorcycle and he had his eye on him and it just seemed like everything broke loose. This place was swarming with city cops. Ours is legal. Yeah, well that's legal too. If yours is legal, I don't see how y'all can be no better than us. You don't know the Constitution, right? I'd like to, sure we do. We're well aware of the Constitution. You have no right to take my gun away from me. You bring the Constitution life. Right. That's all. He's big and lost me on the rest of him. I would like to have my gun back. Is this the pamphlet you're talking about? The pamphlet says that the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense calls on the American people in general to take careful note of the racist California legislature. Why do you believe the legislature is, is racist? Don't you know? You're a part of it. And you're obviously, it's a white system. It's not obviously where we're at. So. What, do you, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. We just read the pamphlet and you'll see what we mean. You say to read your pamphlet, this is the pamphlet that the man presented me with. It's called A Statement of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense on the Mulford Act, now pending before the California Legislature. The Mulford Act would control the use of arms, especially loaded weapons, and would prohibit them. These men seem to have loaded weapons with them. 
the statement seems to indicate that the, these people feel that the black people have been enslaved throughout most of their lives, that the white society is responsible for this. And then they go on to say, the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense believes that the time has come for black people to arm themselves against this terror, the terror of the white people, presumably, before it is too late. And the pending Mulford Act brings the hour of doom one step nearer. Do you believe everything that's in that pamphlet? Pamphlet speaks for itself. Right, come on, your name. Come on, your name. All right, I'm not All right, get over there. All right, don't Now everything yesterday ain't no sawed off. That's a rad shotgun just like yours. But why is yours?
Sorry, Tim Holloway, you were outside when the group came up. What did you see out there? Uh, I was called down from the upper floors of the Capitol and uh, went to the west entrance of the Capitol, and I saw a group of approximately four male Negroes, all carrying weapons of one sort or another, with a smaller group behind them. I uh, stopped them as they came up the front steps of the uh, Capitol, and I was handed a pamphlet by uh, one of the members of the group. Uh, they had a group of uh, uh, pamphlets which uh, stated in effect that they were members of the Black Panthers for Defense, and then uh, it contained a group of charges regarding uh, racism, uh, racist legislature, uh, police brutality, the entire uh, inflammatory type of uh, propaganda. And uh, I read that. They waited. Uh, they were, at that time, quiet, uh, menacing with their revolvers, but they didn't do anything that was uh, actually over it. And uh, after reading their uh, pamphlet, I explained to them that they did have a right to bear arms, that uh, as long as they behaved themselves, the state police would protect them, and uh, then they entered the building. I entered the building also and came to the state police office, and there were a group, uh, highly inflamed, uh, demanding that their weapons be returned to them. Uh, I then learned from some of the officers that uh, a group had invaded, so to speak, the floor of the assembly, and uh, our officers had uh, removed them from the floor of the assembly, brought them to uh, the state police headquarters here, and as a matter of safety, uh, unloaded the weapons. Uh, I then uh, returned the weapon and the shells, and the group uh, walked out of the office and left the Capitol. Is there any law against uh, carrying a loaded uh, weapon in the assembly chamber, for instance? No, that is one of the purposes of the uh, Mulford bill, to make a misdemeanor to uh, carry a loaded weapon. In the back of my mind, no. I believe that uh, these people are well-trained, that they know what they're doing, they know exactly how far to go. Uh, I believe that they were uh, perhaps a little more vehement inside the police office than they might have been outside because here they knew they were safe, nobody was going to bother them. And uh, I believe it was a well-organized uh, operation. Same thing. Uh, you'd uh, be in the same position. They would be legally entitled Basically, to come into Basically, we would be in the same position until they disturbed the peace or in the event they uh, again uh, committed a misdemeanor, an assault, uh, then they would be arrested for the assault, but not for carrying the weapon. What kind of safety precautions are you, are you going to take when this Mulford bill comes up? Uh, as always, we've had to depend on the other law enforcement agencies in the area, and we have received assurances of assistance from the Sacramento Police Department. We're beefing up our uh, manpower on the scene. Do you expect any trouble there? No, I don't. Especially since they're all in the bucket. <laughs> 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 but I'll tell you one thing, I was scared. Anytime a yeah. guy comes up with a sh I was standing by the gate. As a rule, the fellas that come through, if they have a card, we let them in. Otherwise, we don't. But this bunch came just rushing through. No stopping at all. They knocked me away from the gate altogether. Did it knock you down? Yes, sir. And uh, what happened then? Well, they went on into the chamber. Speaker Pro Tem uh, asked me to clear the floor in the rear, and I went to the rear with all the uh, cameramen were there from the news media and told the people to leave. They had no right to be in there, and they indicated their constitutional right was being violated. And under... Uh, our rules and regulations of the assembly, you're only permitted in the downstairs part of the assembly uh, with a guest pass from a member, which they did not have. I understand they were removed from the chamber. Did you do this alone, or how many men helped you? Well, there was a couple of my men and one of the state policemen. 
was your reaction and the reaction of the members of the uh, assembly at that time? Well, I think it was one of complete surprise. Uh, we just couldn't uh, realize uh, what was going on. And uh, I didn't really, really know until uh, after they had been removed uh, why they were there. They were there primarily, or they were there this morning, I guess, to protest a bill that Mr. Mulford from Alameda County is having before the Criminal Procedure Committee this afternoon. As you know, they are now being booked uh, under Section 9051 of the Government Code. And uh, evidently the district attorney here in Sacramento states that uh, they violated the law by entering the chambers while the assembly was in session.